livestock clones could be a big business in the near future. But have you ever wondered why chickens have not been cloned? I am Dr. Ishul on Saisadu and here to tell you why have chickens not been cloned yet. But before we get on to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel so I can keep bringing more of interesting content. The scientists who created Dolly the sheep are planning to clone a hen that can lay golden eggs that are rich in proteins to fight human cancer. But they have never been able to do so. Reproductive cloning in which you create an exact genetic duplicate of an organism isn't like photocopying pages in a book at all. It just doesn't spit out replicas. Nevertheless, that concept seems to pervade the public's perception of technology, fueling fears of clone armies and herds of cloned super animals in the future. Currently, there have been 15 documented species that have been successfully cloned. But each time scientists successfully clone a new animal species, people often recall viewing it as an other step closer to human cloning. Worries about generating clone people like snacks out of a vending machine are largely unfounded. Since for one thing, many countries ban or strictly regulate research on human reproductive cloning. Secondly, cloning is often a tedious process with a success rate of less than 5%. You remember Dolly the sheep, that revolutionary animal clone followed 277 unsuccessful attempts. Now the cloning proponents argue that this science offers invaluable knowledge about how the human body works and the potential of extracting stem cells from cloned embryos. Yet after more than a decade following the cloning of Dolly, the odds of success have barely improved. On top of that, animals' reproductive patterns have also compounded the challenges of cloning technology. Case in point, hard to clone animals, just like dogs. Who knew that man's best friend would also be one of the most difficult animals to clone? You know, the very first clone dog was an Afghan hound named Snappy. It took more than 1,000 failed attempts to get a winner. Scientists have tried for years and years to clone chickens and monkeys as well, but with little progress. These cloning hurdles highlight the fact that cloning isn't a one-size-fits-all pattern for asexual reproduction. It's just like your eyeglasses that might not enhance a friend's vision. Before we get on to chickens, let's go over the basics of reproductive cloning. The most common type of reproductive cloning is called somatic cell transfer. It basically creates a viable embryo from a body cell and an egg cell. We basically take an enucleated egg cell and implant a donor nucleus from a somatic body cell. Next, you apply electricity to artificially fuse the nucleus and egg together and it mimics the union of sperm and egg in natural reproduction. The egg electricity applied also stimulates cell division forming an embryo. Finally, you implant that embryo into a female uterus, thus impregnating her. But creating a clone isn't that simple as it sounds. First, getting the egg from a female mammal, let's say dog, can be troublesome because dogs don't experience regular ovulation cycles like humans do. Not only must scientists wait for dogs to go into heat, the eggs stay mature for just a very few hours, leaving a brief window of opportunity for extraction. If scientists do manage to extract an egg, a coating of fab makes it difficult to remove the nucleus. Similarly, monkey cloning has remained a difficult feat for many years. Although primates go through more regular ovulation cycles, but after performing somatic cell nuclear transfer, the embryos still wouldn't properly develop. It is because during the process, monkey cells lose two key proteins involved in cell and chromosomal division. Scientists have also realized that dye and ultraviolet light sometimes applied to the monkey egg during nucleus extraction can harm it. 
by instead applying polarized light, eggs stayed healthy, allowing the scientists to finally clone the embryo. However, none of the cloned embryos they implanted in female monkeys survived to birth. With the US FDA recent safety approval of meat and milk from cloned animals, livestock clones could be a big business in the near future. So what about chickens? A handful of biotechnology companies have jumped on cloned chicken research, but they haven't been able to make it happen because chickens lay their eggs externally. The somatic cell nuclear transfer just doesn't work. Once a hen lays an egg, the nutrients necessary for development are already inside the shell. Even a tiniest in CN to extract and replace the nucleus for somatic cell nuclear transfer would prohibit the embryo from developing into a chick. But factory farming could soon enter a new era of mass production. Some companies are still trying to clone chickens on a massive scale. They are trying to bulk grow embryonic stem cells taken from fertilized eggs as soon as they are laid. Trick is to culture the cells without them starting to differentiate. Then using a long established technique, these donor cells will then be injected into the embryo of a freshly laid fertilized recipient egg forming a chick that is a chimera. Strictly speaking, Chimera isn't a clone because it contains cells from both donor and recipient. But perhaps it will do the job. The time and expenses searches pour into every successful cloning story highlights the delicate nature of science. Combine that with each species' unique reproductive system and it makes sense that the list of clone animals isn't too long. Overall, when it comes to baby making, it looks like nature has a leg up on technology. For more interesting content, keep watching Science Edu and hit the subscribe button. Bye!